Hi everyone, welcome to Small Family, Small Budget. Um, we're going to meal plan. This is a really big meal plan. So if you like meal planning, give that likes uh, button a hit. Uh, and subscribe if you are new. Welcome. I'm glad to have you. Welcome to my channel. I hope you like these. If you are returning, welcome back to my channel. Um, there's usually bloopers at the end. I'm sure this one will not be any different. Um, because I'm always messing up what I'm saying. So... We just did our inventory the first week of April. We just ate leftovers from Easter and I kind of did leftover makeovers where I used some of them up. So this is the second week of April and I'm going to now meal plan with my inventory. So I have my pantry inventory, my freezer inventory. I don't really do much stock of my refrigerator inventory because I go through that once a week to find out what leftovers we have to freeze and all that kind of stuff. So kind of know what's in there. Plus I'm in it every day. <laughs> so we are going to make a meal plan and then this is how I do it. And it's a little bit different than a lot of people do it. I make three different lists and most of the time I only have two instead of three. So one list is you have everything for your meals without going grocery shopping. This is using up your frozen items, your canned items, everything in your fridge that you already have that's fresh. You don't need nothing from the store at all. So this could be a meat and canned veggies and canned um, package sides. You are not going to the store. So at all. This is your list one. List two is you need one or two items from the store, okay? So this could be hot dog and hamburgers with um, package items, chips or whatever. So you need the buns and you need the chips or whatever. That's your two items because <clears throat> you want an easy night. And you have the hot dogs in the fridge or you have the hamburger in the fridge and you have the condiments. Perfectly fine. So, um, list three is going to be free or items from the store. So this is going to be your more elaborate, uh, meals that have more than five items in the meal. So it could be like your meatloaf that you need more seasonings, or it could be more of the international meals that needs more seasonings that you don't normally have on hand. Any of those kind of meals, or the, if you want more fresh vegetables as your sides, that kind of thing for your meal. I don't typically have a lot of list three um, unless I'm making a brand new um, recipe. And I do one new recipe a month for our family to try. And then it either is a trash pile if they don't like it or it goes in my meal plan or my family binder our rotation so that way we can have a new meal in our rotation so like we don't like curry um we know that i've tried it so that was one of the things that got in the trash pile so to speak not literally in the trash pile because i ate it with other veggies mixed in so that way it didn't go to waste but the recipe went in the trash pile. Let's put it that way. So, um, I usually don't have a lot for list three unless I happen to not stock up on my basic ingredients for my bigger meals. So, all right. So, um, come with me while I meal plan. I am going to, um, start list one with a few of them, show you guys how I do it. And then I'll put music on and fast forward for you all when I edit. So you don't have to have this hour and a half plan for every meal. And then I'll do number two. You'll see the first few. Um, and then I'll do the same. And then list three, if I can think of any meals, we'll go. I might have to pull out my 
yearly list that I made from last year. I took my old calendar and or my old planner last year and wrote down everything we ate so that way it's kind of like a backup to see what I can make and what we liked and all that kind of stuff. So I might have to pull that out for list three to find, oh yeah, hey, we haven't had that for a while and I don't have this stuff in the house. So that'll be on my list three. So come with me while we meal plan off our inventory. All right, so list one is making whole meals without not going to the grocery store. All right, so this is going to be using up your canned items, your frozen items, as your sides also. So, most of the time people have like spaghetti, and I have spaghetti stuff. So, we're going to do spaghetti. Oops, I forgot the H. Of course. And then if we have stuff to make um, garlic bread, I'll make garlic bread. But, and I do normally have bread in the house, so it's all good. Um, I try to shoot for 8 to 10 items, or 8 to 10 meals, when I make these kinds of lists, for list 1. So... Spaghetti we have in my noodles. I'll use the angel hair pasta. And I will use the spaghetti sauce. Where are they? Oh, down here. You see how I did that? So what I'm doing is I'm highlighting what I'm using off my inventory sheet when I write down a meal. So, and then next I'll take off a meat. So I'm going to do chicken rest. And we're going to do a chicken rest. I'm going to do, we have marinara sauces and stuff. So I have teriyaki sauce. Marinara sauce in my cupboard. I can also make my own. I have everything in the house to that. So I'm going to do a teriyaki chicken. I have teriyaki noodles. That's a packaged noodle. It comes with Creole side. Cory, whatever. Um, and uh, I have frozen mushrooms. I'm going to use my frozen mushrooms to make the garlic and butter mushrooms. Okay. So. I'm going to do my teriyaki noodle, the only one I got, one of my 35 chicken breasts, and where is it? Butter. Mushrooms. All right. Did I do that? So I'm taking the things. And then I can do KFC bowl because I have package mashed potatoes. Oh well, here I'll just hide it highlight it. Instead of, I have pa packaged buttered potatoes. I have 
packaged chicken gravy. I have Hold on a second, we have a kid interruption. Then I got canned corn. And I have, um, we have, um, a bag of chicken. I can make chicken, um, tenders or chicken bites to go in it. So the, then this chicken. So right now I'm going to put, I got three meals and I showed you how to do it when, um, with my inventory, I am going to keep going and I'll go on when I get to list two, I'll put music on now, but when I get to list two, I'll stop and explain what that is. Okay. List two is one or two things from the store. So now it's going to be a little bit harder. Because then you have to figure out what you need for the meal. So the first thing I'm going to put is Dijon chicken. I already know I need Dijon mustard. And that's a need. I'm going to put a box around my need word. So it lets me know. And then we're going to have a noodle with it. Let's have a cheddar and broccoli. I might change it to macaroni and cheese, but we'll see. And then I will probably have leftover uh, gratin potato that's up here um, in the freezer to pull out from my husband. And then um, I also will need um, fresh vegetables, probably cucumbers for the house because carrots last a while. So um, I'm going to go with that. And then next thing I'm going to do is a beef roast. And... I usually like to keep my canned potatoes and just purchase fresh potatoes for the beef roast because I a beef roast because I know for a fact that I'm going to use it up that time that time or that that day or that week instead of it sitting in my house. So I need. Um, potatoes and carrots. I might not need carrots yet, but I'm going to put it on my list because there's no guarantee that week I have potato or carrots. Um, so we will put it on my list just in case. And then I can check that week if I have the carrots or not. 
So you see how I put the uh, a need uh, when I put need I put a circle or a box around it so it kind of stands out. And I'm gonna um find those items and so chicken another chicken and then I roast. And then my cheddar and broccoli noodle. And there's that. And then my vegetables, they're fresh vegetables coming from the store. All right. I can make a chicken stuffing casserole. And sometimes this happens. I will find things while I'm looking for list two. I'll find things for list one or vice versa. When I am um, doing different things. My list three items. Needs three or more from the store. So this is going to be more like we're having brats, chips, and fresh veggies for dinner. Uh, it doesn't seem like much, right? So I need buns, chips, cucumbers, cucumbers. That's why I spelled wrong. So that's three items. Um, for dinner. Let's say. So that would be taking my brats out and grilling them. And we use our condiments. Let's say we are doing a hmm. Oh, see, I remember something for list two already. This is what I'm saying. List two lasagna I know it's spelled wrong y'all yeah. you gotta get past my spelling um so I need cottage cheese I always need cottage cheese in my house I usually have everything in the house for lasagna except for cottage cheese so I always have to go pick up cottage cheese so that key that uses up like I said it when you're thinking of one list, another one will pop up. That uses up my ground beef. That uses up my spaghetti sauce. And twenty off of our um, meals from my planner. So, oh goulash! Do I have everything for goulash? I think I have everything for goulash. That's another list one. 
We haven't had that in a long time. See? And these are great to have. Peach pork chops. Let me get my gross. And I have shrimp Alfredo stuff. Oh yeah, there we go. So we're gonna do grilled chicken nuggets. with fresh vegetables. And um, roasted red potatoes. So I would need Two or three red roasted potatoes, or sorry, red potatoes for me to cook that night. Um, and then we'll need cucumbers, mushrooms, hmm, I don't know, nachos would be a big one for this one. Nachos, I would need chips. The corn chips. And then we would need salsa for my husband because he's not eating my salsa. Um, we would probably need lettuce and tomato. So there's four. We haven't had nachos in a long time. So let me find these in here and then always use if you have one of these they're great and I'll put this back in my um, family uh, meal cookbook and that's where I have that so grilled chicken nuggets would come from the chicken I hope you guys like that. Make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe and hit the, no the notification bell so you don't miss any more videos that I post out. And this is just one way to change your what you have in the house as a menu. And then, like I said, I make about 8 to 10 of roughly list 1 and list 2 and like 6 of list 3 so you can eat off of it for 3 to 4 weeks. And then you just pick off of those for three to four weeks instead of having to worry about taking it off your inventory plan. And then your need on that big plan is already your shopping list. So you don't have to go, oh, what do I need for that meal? And then you just have to worry for breakfast and lunch. We have basically the same thing all the time for breakfast and lunch. We always have cereal, bagels, French toast, eggs, for breakfast and for lunch we usually have peas and butter and jelly sandwich um grilled cheese sandwiches tomato soup egg salad sandwiches um i'll make something that's not leftovers if he wants like a quesadilla or whatever and that kind of stuff um we'll have hot dogs or I'll have sausage dogs and sauerkraut while he has hot dogs. That kind of stuff. Just little odds and ends things for lunch. Usually plan for that stuff. So, but if you need to plan for that stuff, go ahead and do that. I'm not saying that every household is the same. By gosh, not at all. My foods look different than yours. 
I don't have any allergies. We don't have any allergies in this house. I do limit the salt intake when it comes to me adding salt because we do eat more packaged foods um, when it comes to sides if I'm not making fresh foods. Like if I'm picking from that list one more um, because money is tight. Um, because those list ones are more going to be like the dollar package items that were on sale for the 10 for 10. And I'm stocking up because I know that when money gets really tight, I can depend on those because they're shelf stable. It happens. There's not all the time able to do anything. When you're on the poverty line, you have to do what you can do. So, um, like I've said in previous videos, especially my grocery videos, Potatoes don't last in my house. They go rotten. I don't know why. It's probably because I do not have a dry, cool spot for them at all. They get they get light and they get um or they get wet. So the light turns them green or they get wet and then they get mushy or they start sprouting really, really fast. So I tend to get I tend to get canned or I'll get the packaged ones because then they're shelf stable and I don't have to worry about it because it's literally I will buy a three pound bag of potatoes or a five pound bag of potatoes for three to five bucks and I'm using two potatoes out of it or three potatoes out of it and I'm throwing the rest of the bag away. So I'm wasting more food than I'm using and then I'm mad at myself and I freeze them and then it's still not getting used. So that's the reason why I buy that. And I've had so many comments, so many comments and not on Facebook or sorry, not on YouTube, but I've had so many comments on Facebook why I use package items. And I'm like, yeah, it would be nice if we ate more produce like potatoes and stuff. But we don't. I have a son that doesn't like potatoes. Actually, both my kids don't like potatoes. Um, my daughter, now that she moved out, um, eats them occasionally. Um, when she was little, she wouldn't touch them. She barely ate chips. She barely ate french fries. Um, didn't like potatoes at all. My son's the same way. So, if I make potatoes, it's just for me and my husband. If I make noodles, like macaroni and cheese, it's just for my son because my husband don't like macaroni and cheese. So it's like, what am I going to do? So with picky eaters in the house, you just get what you get and you don't throw a fit and then you freeze the other half and have it for another night. So yeah, you learn with what you have. And lately, my videos have just been come chit chat at the end. Sorry, y'all. Have a wonderful day. Glad you loved the meal plan. If you did, uh, if you stayed this long, you got some guts. <laughs> if you were already shut off, <laughs> it's okay. Have a great day. Bye, y'all. I reinvented some of them. Reinvented. So I don't literally. Uh, got some blanking. Uh, Steve put back in. Put back in her. Thing. It never was <laughs> put in notification bill so you don't let me miss. Hit three, three, <laughs> three or more dogs every time. Will you stop barking every time I film? No one is here. No one's stopping by to say hi to us today. Go lay down. Thank you. This is why I have bloopers.